Ashley put us in touch with the Aging Resource Center and they had a program called Arts and Dementia. We worked with five different couples in the Upper Valley. One of them had early dementia. Each one of the couples had some connection with the arts, but they'd lost that or some part of it because of the Alzheimer's. And so the students were working with these couples to try to figure out how to bring an experience to them that was delightful, that sparked their imagination and got them excited again, either using art or about art. It was really an extraordinary experience for the students and for us as the professors. So a social impact practicum is a project-based opportunity for experiential learning that's integrated into courses at Dartmouth. I think a traditional service learning model tends to be a heart and hands model, building on the heart, so it speaks to someone's heart and their sense of passion and good, and it engages their hands, it engages their body, it takes them and physically puts them in a place where they can do something that has value for that organization. What makes the social impact practicums really different and interesting is that it is more of a head and a heart model. It's building on the innovation and entrepreneurial spirit and insight and creativity that Dartmouth students are really known for. And it also speaks to their heart and their desire to make an impact and be a leader in this world and on this campus and in the community. What this course is about is understanding and predicting consumer outcomes. It was perfect for those organizations in the community who had branding, marketing, or advertising initiatives to tie into our course, which measures those things. They look at a benchmark of what currently exists in terms of the graphic design or brand design. And then there is new content that's been generated based on the asks of the stakeholders. They will assess that new creative against that initial benchmark. They look at eye tracking behavior. So where in the scene, where in this graphic art did they tend to process? Where was their attention most heavily focused? How long were they looking at specific key elements of interest to the stakeholders? The students will have those kinds of comparators to evaluate for the A-B test for their final project. It allowed them to not just read what these stakeholders desired of their social impact practicum, but it also allowed them to meet the stakeholders and have a conversation one-on-one -on -one and hear some of their pain points about what is working, what's not working, and really how they want to make it better. The integration of the social impact practice into my class this year made it so much better as it just as, a, as an entity. Because as a small business owner, I want to make a difference, and as a mentor, I want to make a difference. This is a means to basically give something back to the community and while learning in a very tangible sense in a hands-on type of fashion. So the Social Impact Practicum Initiative is in response to President Hanlon's Experiential Learning Initiative. And in fact, it was made possible through that initiative. SIPs are integrated in 24 disciplines at this point all across campus. Professor Ruff's documentary video making is pairing with an addiction treatment and recovery program. They are making a documentary on the role that peer support plays in addiction recovery and also looking at the opioid crisis that's happening in New Hampshire and, and Vermont. In Professor Manning's Storytelling with Data class, they are partnering with the Hartford Police Department as well as the Hartford School System to look at the issue of truancy. Hartford has provided data that students are combing through and they are trying to figure out what are the trends, what does that data say, what's the story that that data says to provide an initial level of recommendations and thoughts on where the town of Hartford might go with that information. It creates the groundwork for students to grapple with how do you take what you're learning and apply it and then also vice versa, how do you take what you are learning when you have applied it back into the classroom and use that multi-directional reflection as an opportunity to get deeper into the material and to have that material really take hold and last far beyond when the course ends. If you have something that is really powerful and that students adore and that weaves really well into the existing course, 
and that has a community impact, it's a win-win for all of those stakeholders involved.